water is a lot different in the spring. It pushes and pulls harder. It hadn't been long since the 15 degree mornings and the more unpredictable weather, accompanied by the even more unpredictable fish. As much as I want to tell a big fish story, although it is part of it, that is not the theme of this year's run. The run started early this year. A string of warm weather in March pushed the fish out of Lake Superior and up into its tribs. The warm weather brought them up, and the cold weather kept them there. It seemed like the run was lasting forever this year. We started catching fish in late March and continued catching them until late May. It was a steelheader's dream. First one. I'm going to keep floating that. <laughs> Pretty big head, sh head shakes on this fish. I think this is a pretty decent fish, Andrew. Yes, sir. That was awesome. On the pin. Top, right in the top there. Oh yeah. Got tank. some good stuff. Oh, that's a tank, yeah. It's a nice female. Big, big belly on it. That's gonna go upstream. Make some more of these kind of fish right here. It was a goal of mine this year to capture a strike on film. A familiar face provided just that.
there. If I was speaking, we're doing an interview for Spear Steel Three, and there's a there's a ground there's a ground squirrel right here next to us, and just really, if you look to my right, you, your left, you'll see. Anybody got any peanuts? Can you guys please go for a walk or something? Yeah. Go look at the river or something. Just hooked up here with the first one in the morning. Lost a couple other chrome ones so far. This is. Pretty heavy fish, fighting well. Torn lost a couple nice ones. This one seems like it might stick here. Hopefully. See if I can't, I'm gonna flip them the other way and try to pull them behind me here. Oh, felt it hit a rock, I don't like that. Man, this thing's really dogging me. Oh yeah. Big. It looks like a colorful male, actually. Nice, pretty fish. Come here. Come here, buddy. Wow, oh, that's a beautiful, oh my goodness. Oh man. Hey, look at that. Mr. Dirk Speed. That is a pretty, pretty fish. That's the kind you get on the wall right there. Big, colorful male. That is pretty. Beautiful big male, I put up a great fight. That was one of the longest fights I've had with the steelhead here, I think. I'm gonna let him go here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Ow, that's awesome, look at that rat's nest. <laughs> I've always been an outdoorsman, I've always enjoyed being outside and um, really being able to take in the, take in the culture. Um, but I think this year more than ever, just with getting a new job and moving down to Wisconsin, um, just the opportunity to be able to come back up here um, and, still, and still pursue these fish as much as I was able to. And um, the one time in particular, I was um, taking a break and um, drinking my coffee. And this was probably, um, we knew it was probably going to be our last, our last morning on the river altogether uh, for the season. It was just getting to the middle of May, and uh, we just kind of knew it was going to be our last time. And um, I was sitting there drinking my coffee, and there's a nice mossy bank across from me. Um, kind of went up this little hillside, um, big white pines scattered all all over the river, and. Um, I was sitting there, just kind of taking it all in. The, the birds were, birds were waking up and chirping, and um, I heard something coming from my left. And sure enough, I look up and there's a, a red fox. Couldn't have been 40 yards from me. Just moving along the riverbank, and 
he stopped and just and looked over at me and just kind of kept, kept moving. Um, and that in particular was a really special time for me. And um, I think as I get older, um, I'm gonna start appreciating those things more and more. And I, I notice them more and more. And just the fact that um, even though I moved and I was, I was worried that I was gonna be able to get back up here as much as I would like and um, be able to, to film with my buddies and, and pursue these fish as I, as I had in the past. And I was very blessed to be able to have that opportunity still. Um, and we sure made the, the most of it. We had a, a lot of good experiences on the river this year. Caught a lot of fish. Um, and as Torin mentioned earlier, this was a, a abnormally long, long season for us. And um, with that came the opportunity for us to fish in some warmer water temperatures and some, some warmer air temperatures even. Um, we had some times on the river when we were in our t-shirts and that doesn't happen very often. Um, so with that, that warmer air and the warmer water temps, we really got to experience the, the true athleticism of these fish. And I, we, we had some fish that were just amazingly acrobatic and we were able to capture a couple of those on, on, on film and that was just made it even more special um, to, to catch one of these fish and to fight one of these fish in, in the colder water temperatures is, is a thrill. But when you, when you add that athleticism that they have um, and they're jumping three, four feet out of the water, it, it's, it's just an amazing, amazing feeling on the end of your line um, to feel that fish shaking when it's in midair. Um, it's incredible, it truly is amazing. And um, my personal best Lake Superior tributary steelhead was one of those acrobatic fish. Fish. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that was a hero drift, man. I've been waiting for that. Oh. Is my mic on? Yeah. I just hero drifted one <laughs> way down to the end, of, like way past my limits here on my run <laughs> and hit a fish. I've been wanting to do that all day. Every 10 or 12 drifts, I'll send one all the way down there. <laughs> this is a tank. <laughs> oh my gosh, please stay pinned. Oh, that's a dog, dude. And it's got some ups. God. That's such a big fish. Man, this thing's big. Come on, please stay in. I set the hook on it. I, I got a good hook set. And then before I could even react, it was already flying out of the water. My line's over here. Like that thing went ballistic, came right at me. Three, four good jumps. This is a big fish. This is my biggest steelhead that I've, I don't want to say it yet, <laughs> that I've had on. <laughs> Guess as far over there as you can, Alex. Is it as far as you can go? Right, right in there. 
Right there. Don't go too far. Now she's coming to me. Oh man, that's got a big head on it. Right here. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Right here. Right here. You have to stab her. Don't miss. Right here, right here, right here. Yes! <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh man, yes! Print thing over here. <laughs> Put it back down in the water once. Oh my gosh, that thing was some, that thing is a gymnast. <laughs> Did you get that on video when it jumped? Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Hero drift? Oh man. Oh man. Oh man, dude. Unbelievable fish, unbelievable weekend, unbelievable day. What an awesome, awesome fish. Sent it. <laughs> I hooked that thing 40 yards downstream. Easy. That's out of bow range.
down to my bed 